Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about a long-term investment that I did, that I just made recently on Nvidia, Nvidia company, Nvidia stock, and there is a lot has to do with it actually with the announcement that a partnership with announcement with Neo, the electronic vehicle car from China, which has been having an amazing uh, couple months in terms of the price action, the long-term trend. Neo has been doing really, really good. It's in the electronic vehicle space, which has been doing really good. Like companies like Tesla, Neo, XPEP, all this EV sector has been running. Now Nvidia has made a partnership with Neo, and I think there's a potential for Neo to also make a move. Uh, because of the technology they offering to to Neo, which is a huge growth company as well. So what I'm going to do, um, not only I'm going to cover uh, the news announcement uh, with Neo, I'm going to go over the article a little bit, but I'm also going to cover the technicals, the long term chart in Nvidia. I'm also going to cover the fundamentals of Nvidia, if, and, and kind of explain to you why I believe this is a great uh, investment uh, for your long term account. Now, as a as an uh, as a, as a, as a just wanted to quickly mention, I'm not a financial uh, advisor. These videos are for learning and um, entertainment purposes. Always remember that. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel below. I'm gonna go over and share my screen, all right? Let's get started. Okay, so kind of uh, go over, uh, uh, I'm gonna go over the chart really quick first. Uh, so as you guys can see, in terms of uh, Nvidia, uh, the chart, the one-year chart, it has it has pretty much been on a any range since uh, September. So we're talking about September, September, October, November, December, and January. It is starting to kind of perk up, and it's literally been like almost you could say four months of just you know just stuck between this one five seventy-five and five hundred. It did have a huge move since uh, March. Uh, when they had this huge sell-off from the uh, whole pandemic, start of the pandemic, and it had a huge move from 200 to 500, it's almost like uh, it, it almost tripled itself to close to 600, you know, high at 589. But it's been in this stuck in this range. Um, very interesting because uh, the the, um, the technology sector overall, uh, which uh, Nvidia is, is, is part of the semiconductor, has been trending very nicely. Uh, other in, uh, semiconductor stocks like uh, AMD, as well as Amet, they've been trending, but uh, NVIDIA has been stuck in this range. Uh, to me, this looks like there's been a lot of uh, accumulation of shares by uh, large investors. Um, and because of the, the recent news with NEO, uh, which is uh, one of the, uh, it's, it's part of the EV space, a very high growth uh, space, I think NVIDIA is gonna start to make a move. Now, before I show you more of the fundamentals, um, I'm gonna kind of go over the, the, the news. So this is the news. It, Nvidia, Neo partners with Nvidia to develop a new generation of automated driving electric vehicles. EV models featuring Neo Atom supercomputer powered by Nvidia Drive Orin to begin production in 2022. This is huge. So Neo is working uh, to make consumer adoption of smart performance pack electric vehicles a widespread reality. Uh, at Neo Day a couple of days ago, the company's annual customer event, the EV uh, maker revealed its NVIDIA Drive Orin Power Supercomputer Dove Atom, which will first appear in the ET7 sedan that will be uh, shipped in China starting 2022. So this is huge, guys. This is this is huge. This partnership uh, with NVIDIA, a, a high growth company, <clears throat> It's very, very big for the, for the uh, next uh, growth stage of NVIDIA, the company. Uh, and I really believe other, uh, are the car, uh, other electric vehicle manufacturers will probably want to uh, partner up with NVIDIA as well uh, to provide them with the chips. And I don't think it's just going to be uh, NEO. It might be some other ones too. Um, now, if you look at uh, NEO stock, just to kind of give you a heads up, I mean, it's been moving insanely. And that's just not NEO. Uh, look at Tesla moving insanely as well. So the whole EV sector is a high growth sector. And now NVIDIA uh, partner up with uh, NEO, it definitely uh, uh, gives it opportunity to kind of jump into the wagon of the EV sector. Uh, they could definitely uh, propel NVIDIA for another, uh, another uh, round of growth, if you could say. So um, wanted to kind of bring that up. Now going back to the tentacles, this consolidation, again, has been going for four months. 
uh, in my opinion, it's been accumulating. Today, we had above average volume. Today, it broke above this consolidation. I think if it breaks above 575 with high volume, I think it could break 600 and continue to go. Uh, and again, this is kind of like consolidation. Most, most stocks that consolidate for such a long period of time tend to break and trend. Uh, an example will be actually uh, Tesla. Very, very, very uh, long-term, three, two, three months consolidation, and then it broke with, high, uh, with a nice little trend. I even same thing even happened with new actually. We had this consolidation for like two, three months, and it's starting to trend again. Uh, so I really believe the same thing with NVIDIA, that we're going to see something like that similar happen. Again, NVIDIA is in the semiconductor space. Actually, the last earnings, they actually beat earnings. You know, the, the estimated was uh, $1.92 1 $1 per share, and they actually beat uh, with uh, $2.91 per share. Uh, so that's pretty huge. That's a huge beat in terms of earnings. Uh, now, let's kind of go over fundamentals really quickly on NVIDIA. Now, in terms of the market cap, NVIDIA is a $338 billion market cap. Um, I think if it does follow the whole electronic vehicle sector, I really think it could be worth close to more $500 billion company just because the high growth of the electronic vehicle sector. I think there's potential for other companies to also partner with uh, NVIDIA to provide them with those supercomputer chips. Uh, so looking at uh, the, the price per earnings, price per earnings is actually $89 uh, per share. Uh, so for, for every dollar earnings, uh, NVIDIA is trading $89 per share. Now looking at forward price per earnings, it's actually only trading uh, $46 per $1 of earnings. Now if you compare that with AMD, you know, it's actually a lot less because AMD is right now trading in $135 per $1 earnings. And therefore, price per earning is actually $53.55. Uh, so I want to kind of just bring up the differences. So, and if you look at uh, AMD, there's been a lot of upgrades. There's been a lot of upgrades by a, a lot of uh, investment banks. Um, so NVIDIA, excuse me, AMD has been looking pretty good. But now, uh, again, uh, NVIDIA, in, in my opinion, NVIDIA is, is, the, is the one that I think is going to have the opportunity to not move. Now, the last time uh, we had a, a, a reason, the most recent, uh, uh, you could say, um, uh, investment bank um, analyst report was by Consent Securities, Consent Securities, and they re reiterated a buy of, from 610 to 620 on November 12, 2020. Now, keep in mind, this is, was before their earnings report, which earnings report was actually uh, reported on, on November 18th. Um, and the recent news, the news was actually just uh, announced during Investor Day, and it was actually made uh, more public in, in the media uh, during uh, in Investor Day. So again, this is pretty, pretty, very, very, very important. So again, January 9, uh, that's when uh, there was a course announced during, uh, of course, Investor Day uh, with Neo, uh, excuse me, Neo's uh, Neo Day or Investor in Neo Day. Um, so is recent news. And you can see now that uh, V is starting to kind of make a move. Um, so looking at the fundamentals, again, I think very pretty soon we're going to have probably more upgrades or change in, um, I guess you could say, in price targets from different investment banks. Uh, I think that's going to come pretty soon. Any uh, changes in uh, investment banks, upgrades or anything like that, of course, that could help uh, speed up the move of NVIDIA. But overall, I think uh, the, the the chart looks great. Uh, the fundamentals look good, and also the um, the you could say the the uh, the narrative or the storyline behind Nvidia. I think it looks very good for the next move in Nvidia's growth. And again, now just to kind of mention this again, guys, um, I am not a, uh, a financial advisor. These these videos are for in, uh, learning and education purposes, so always keep that in mind. Uh, but based on the stuff that I provided, um, you know, I think NVIDIA is a great company. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Again, any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the YouTube comments. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you guys will hear from me soon. Have a good one, guys. Take care.